So what is the secret place? We're going to read in Matthew 6, verses 5 through 7. And when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets, that they may be seen by men. That's for somebody. Some of you talk like you pray. You even pray good prayers in front of people from stages and pulpits and ministry opportunities. And you're not too far from the hypocrites that are being written about in Matthew concerning Jesus' words. And when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites. For they love to pray standing in public in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets because they want to be seen by many. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you pray, go into your room. And when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place. And your father who sees in secret will reward you openly. And when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think they will be heard for their many words. That last part's really important. That's the manipulation part. It's the formula that we try to put together. If I do this, then this will happen. And when it doesn't happen, we think that we didn't do the formula right. And that is religion. But here's the steps. Here's the secret place. We first learn, again, this is Jesus' words, that we are to go into our room and shut the door and pray to the Father who is in the secret place. And your Father who sees in secret, will reward you openly. This is not performance. This is not a ministry event. This is not a stage. This is you and Him, the Father, communicating in a secret spot. Now, we can speak literally here, but I also want to bring a figurative viewpoint as well. So what this literally looks like is you going into your closet and shutting the door and praying to your Father. Not praying to Jesus. It's important. He didn't say go to pray to Him. He says go to pray to the Father who is in the secret place. And so as we shut the door and get alone and we communicate to the Father through the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, Father, blah, 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 blah. When we speak to Him in the secret place, He sees us in that secret place. And what we do privately, He will reward us openly. Think about that. It's so easy to really rush through this and not grasp the depth of what this represents. God loves you. He wants to be with you. He wants your time, your attention. And part of what he's asking you to do is to get alone, to set, set that time apart, aside for him specifically. And to shut the door means to really eliminate all distractions. Turn your phone off. Lock the door. Let those who are in your family know that you're not available right now. And you set that time aside for him because he is worth it and because you need it. 
without the secret place, we're, we're really nothing. <laughs>